nearly five years ago. Built onto an empty hill are the tropical regions of Mexico, Central and South America. The zoo's green heart. With $22 million and a single acre, this is a representation of the world's largest rainforests, built to improve the husbandry of their animals, but also to appeal towards the 55% of their annual visitors that have cultural ties to these natural parts of the world. The theme is, everything has a home, and life fills up all layers of the rainforest. From the canopy, to the understory, down to the forest floor. After we show you its immersion, peace, collection of rarity, and arrangement for interaction, your mind will forever be set to want to see it all for yourself. North of the aviary and south to the elephants of Asia is the tropical portal. More specifically, what's known as the stilt house, a two-storied hut that can be accessed by steps or a large ramp. The top level meets the ground of the first habitat. Towards the right is the harpy eagle, living at the highest point of these Americas. They can be found ranging from Mexico to Argentina and are distinguishable by their disc of feathers surrounding their face, much like a lion's mane, and have talons comparable to the size of a bear's claws, able to carry medium-sized primates. They are considered to be near-threatened in the wild, but are also considered rare to many others because you can only find them at 15 parks around the world. Still on the top platform of the stilt house, from the left, you can view the eagle's neighbors that are far below, an overlook of an oasis that will get its proper introduction fairly soon. Rather than have you backtrack all the way down the ramp, you can take the stairs that lead immediately directly below. On the lower or floor level of the shelter are two freshwater tanks, one for the river bass and the other, the livelier one, an 8,000 gallon tank for red-bellied piranhas, a very first for the zoo, along with two species of stingrays and nearly 1,000 tetras. Its special feature, however, is its ability to blend so well with the background. Just beyond the dirt wall is the source of the sounds coming from a running stream. This oasis is a domain for the endangered giant otter. The largest of their kind. They play like dogs, hunt like wolves, and can grow to the length of a man. Their habitat, this attraction's peak in quality, is filled with everything they could ever want. A temperature controlled space, nest boxes, spots for digging, a perfect amount of sunlight to bask in, and a stream that even acts as a slide. In these Americas, it's the best spot to get close with the animals in multiple ways, with the added benefit of several angles. And from one of those windows, able to view them as well. Naturally northbound of these otters, is a furry pachyderm known as the Central American or Baird's Taper. All tapers look like a pig if it had a small elephant's trunk, but they are actually closer related to horses and rhinos. Most taper habitats and parks are designed for others to observe from afar. It's not every day one will get so close to you that you can even count their number of teeth. According to our guide map, we are in the middle of the rainforest, once again in the canopy, approaching three simple, similar design structures. The first, if you were lucky enough, you would have already heard them from the furthest part of the zoo. The southern black howler monkey, the world's loudest mammal in a zoo. 
and the largest of the New World monkeys. They are a dimorphic species, tan coats for females and black for the males. They spend their entire lives in the trees, foraging for leaves and fruit, able to grasp anything they can with their prehensile tail. They have an enlarged larynx, allowing them to create roaring sounds to help delineate their territory that are able to be heard up to three miles away. Next, another creature of the Amazon, hidden in the back due to their skittish nature, almost as if they were off display, the bald wakari. The Los Angeles Zoo began working with this unique species over 50 years ago. And if you want to talk about what's rare in these Americas, this is as good as it gets. What you're looking at are the only wakaris on display outside of their native range. Apparently, they're so far back and away from the main path to relieve the wakari's potential stress due to the male's possessive attitude towards the females. Even if their exhibit is in an odd position, it's still a privilege just to get a glimpse of this vulnerable primate. And the last of the three central exhibits is the most immersive. Where tamarins once were, you will now find a few species of birds. The highlighted one, however, is the Arapandola, a New World Blackbird. As a way to feature them and set them apart from the others, the zoo built a loose recreation of one of their massive nests able to withstand the weight of a small child. Beyond that point is a break from the sun, created by the spread of a 30-foot display disguised as a massive fallen tree. Within the trunk, though going through maintenance at the time, displays three dwarf caimans and a mata mata turtle. And next to them, a small terrarium for several species of poison dart frogs. After the passage under another fallen tree in temple ruins, it means we're coming close to the trail's end. Before the unveiling of the rainforest's final and greatest star-powered treasure is another aviary well blended into its surrounding environment, this time featuring the colorful keel-billed toucan. In now, the grand finale, the final piece to the puzzle that wasn't added until a year after the rainforest of the Americas initially opened, a 5,000 square foot hillside for the world's third largest cat. The Jaguar, an upgrade from their previous habitat, designed with tall grasses, shrubs, deadwood trees they can utilize, and a pool for swimming, something most cats stray away from ever doing. Their home offers an unforgettable visitor experience with optimal views, along with engaging interpretive graphics designed to inspire appreciation for preservation of one of the most iconic animals of the rainforest. As you walk down the winding exit path, it's impossible not to notice that all of the plant life is dying out. An illustration of how all rainforests around the world are changing for the worst. The rainforest of the Americas was the final phase of the zoo's 16-year, $180 million modern master plan. It's a place to learn, play, observe animals you might never see again, and will make you carry on the thought that this is without a doubt all worth protecting. Yeah.